Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. This is, <laughs> um, this is your reading for the month of August 2022. I hope that you enjoy it. I have been asked to do some astrology readings, so I'm going to do a few and see if people like it. And if you want to go into deeper astrological readings, and we go from there. But this one is for Sagittarius for the month of August 2022. So let's see what the spirit guides and angels would like to tell you or what they want you to know for the month of August 2022. Month of August 2022, Sagittarius. So remember, this is a holistic reading, not an individual reading. If you would like individual readings, you can let me know. But this is going to resonate on some parts for some people and some parts for others. So let's see. What do they have to tell you? Spirit guides and angels. What can you tell me? For such a chair is for the month of August 2022. Oh. It's a little bit funny because I'm not gonna lie I'm seeing like really good sex <laughs> I'm seeing really good sex but the relationship is toxic so you are in a very either it's a, a relationship where it's sex and it's toxic or it's in a, you're in a really maybe lucrative job but the environment is toxic um, and it's like you get given things but it's to your detriment so it's like Every time you want to leave, you're like, okay, I'm going to leave. And then you either have really good sex again or they offer you something again and you keep coming back for more. And then you're kind of like, oh, this is not good for me. And I need to, I know I need to move on and I know I need to be stuck, tough and strong. But you're like stuck because you're like, no, it's just easier. It's kind of like the devil you know versus the devil you don't. And you're just kind of like, no, I think this is fine for me. I will um, stay like this. And then you have really bad days where you're just kind of like, uh... I don't really like this, but it's like there's no movement here. It's like you either in a career or a relationship that's stuck, not going anywhere. And you kind of know that, but something about it is just kind of keeping you there with the person or in the career. So that's kind of interesting for me to see. Um, yeah, I feel like you, you already know, like you have the decision, but it's kind of like you don't want to make the decision. But it's like the universe is kind of telling you, you have to make the decision. To better yourself like something's better on the horizon and if you don't cut this off you cannot get the other positive from something else like you're in constant communication you're checking things this person has hurt you or this company or career path is not for you and it's driven you to anxiety and bad thoughts and you know this i think you know the answer to this so let's have a look at what the astrology cards have to say let's look at what the astrology cards have to say for the month of August 2022 for my lovely Sagittarius. <laughs> What's the plural of Sagittarius? Sagittarii? Sagittarius? I don't know. Uh, month of August 2022 for Sagittarius. Month of August 2022 for my lovely Sagittarius people. Let's put that in there. Let's put that back. The August 2022 for my lovely Sagittarius. Okay, the August. Okay, house four. Cultural, family, roots, home, peace, and government. Yeah, you're looking for peace. You're looking for comfort. So you're kind of asking, second-guessing yourself, questioning it. But you already know the answers. And you're looking for signs like, should I, shouldn't I? But you already know the answer. It's kind of becoming redundant. Like, yeah, you're kind of getting bored of knowing the answer. You just haven't got the motivation yet to make the move, I think. Air, open-minded, objectivity, and learning. Yeah, you're very objective. You're very open-minded. Um, you love to learn. And you're trying to think out, what am I learning from this? What is the lesson I'm getting from this? And I think you're already over the lesson. I think you're done with this. But you keep like, 
squeezing that little bit of toothpaste out of the last bit of the the tube you know um and i think you're even like getting a little bit bored of this situation the north node like it's a cute little dragon right um destined to have yeah it's it's almost like you're like i there's got to be more to life there's got to be more to to what i have in my life than this and it's kind of like you're just you're in this kind of comfort zone but it's not comfortable if that makes sense but you're in this comfort zone and you don't really want to change anything because then it's kind of like yeah but what is it going to be if i change it like is it going to be better at least this time i have somebody with me or at least i have money coming in um it's like i'm just this is maybe this is my path and maybe this is my lesson but you but you already know that this is not and you already know that you need to change but you just need that that movement you just need that motivation of something to change in your mindset to be like yeah i need to move on from this or that whatever it is house two physical uh, security positions material values and self-worth yeah i mean physical security maybe the boyfriend or the guy he's good looking and he has a good job and he's doing this but it's a toxic relationship and he just looks good on the arm right and when you post pictures it just looks good with him but it's not and he's toxic and he's not a good person or the situation is not good it could be a career where you're like oh this job looks good on my resume and the money's good and i can get material possessions so i'm just gonna keep it and you're actually not supposed to you're supposed to let go of something that's toxic for you mentally, spiritually, and physically. Because when you leave this earth, none of that comes with you. Venus, give and receive love, find value and see beauty. So this is the, for me, this is the spirit guide and angels giving you what you need at the end. It's telling you to find real love, find value. There's no value in something that's in your life that's toxic. And see the beauty in something. If you cannot see the beauty on it, you need to walk away because it's not right for you. Okay, so that is, I feel like this is the act, an actual message to you, Sages. Um, give and receive love, like real love. Find value in something. Is what you have right now of value to you or to others around you? Ask yourself that question and then see the beauty in something that could potentially give you that value and that love that you so deserve and crave. I hope that helps you guys. Um, if you want me to go deeper into it, let me know. Um, that is my first um astrology reading for the month of august 2022 and i hope you guys liked it and i hope you have a great month and look after yourselves and each other and we'll speak to you again soon bye for now